In this video, we will be creating this function right here in the TI Inspire CX cost. So we have Reynolds number is equal to density times velocity times length over viscosity. And we want to create a function so we can easily swap these numbers here to get Reynolds number. And if you can create this function, you can do it for any other functions. So let's get started. So first thing that I would do is write a name for our function. So if I hit control, this icon right here, um, if you were to scroll a bit, you have this icon right here, this closed caption icon right here. You select it and we write the name for our function. So we're doing Reynolds uh, number. So now I have a quick description and I simply write the equation. So we know that Reynolds number is equal to density times velocity times length over viscosity. So I can do control, this icon right here for a division sign, times velocity, we can call it U, times length, call it L, over viscosity, we can call it V. Now this is in a very important step. We hit control, equal, this line straight going down. We select it. Now we're first going to do dummy numbers. So we can say that density or rho is equal to, uh, we say just say any number you want, 1,000. 1,000 kilograms per meter cube. Then we do space, so this icon right here, and you write the word and, A-N-D. It's very important that you spell and correctly because if you write A-M-D, it italicize. But if you write it correctly, A-N-D, it's not italicized, which means it's a command. And then you write U is equal to, we can say, uh, 7 meters per second. And we do length. We can say length is equal to 200 meters. And viscosity is equal to 0 0.001 kilograms divided by meters times seconds. We hit enter, and we get a number. So this is a working equation. And it's very easy to go back and swap numbers. You simply hit back, back, and you can easily swap any numbers you want. So instead of 200 for length, we can say 2000. Instead of U, we can say 70, and we can change this number to like five or three. We hit enter, we get new numbers. Um, I like to write equation in this format because you can easily go back and see the actual equation. That's all you need to do to create functions in the TI Inspire CX cost.